What's up, real world? Twisted luck. Hope everybody's good. Thanks for being here. You know that I appreciate you. So I watched this random video uh, the other night, just a you know short video that popped up, and it was a trucker and um, something I had you know I've thought about, but I hadn't directly thought about this. You know, those things we've talked about and stuff, but it kind of put it in perspective. And you know, some of you, I'm sure, have already thought of it. Some of you, I don't know, some of you may be truckers some of you are truckers actually so um and some of you just put it together but he was at the gas pump you know just like i've made videos at the gas pump um seeing how much it costs to fill up just my truck right he's filling up a semi so he this guy drives a refrigerated truck and he's filling up showing the price of gas now and how much it costs him it cost it costed him well over a thousand dollars to fill that tank and holy crap. And I was just thinking, oh my God, that's insane. You know? Uh, and then he says, so, uh, when your when you're gallon of milk costs $11 at the store, you'll know why. And then, th think about that. That's the only way you're gonna get your milk, that refrigerated truck, right? But it's not just milk. It's all sorts of things, and not just refrigerated trucks, other trucks too. How do we get everything that we get? Obviously, you know, ships and, you know, boats and trains and planes and all that. Uh, most of these things take fuel, but also, you know, most times, what are we doing here? I wish I had a forward-facing camera that was connected to this so you could just see the fiasco of a circus that just took place before me at an intersection. Three different cars came from three different directions, all stopped and couldn't figure out what to do. Anyway. Um, things end up on trucks, right? What are they? They end up on trucks and they go to the store. So these things have to be driven with these gas prices. And it's funny right now I'm passing on 395, right? Oh, we're rejoicing for 395 gas. We're like, oh my God. Oh yeah. Uh, whew, thank you, Putin. Thank, thank, thanks. Uh, Putin's letting up on, on us just a little bit. Putin's like, you know what? Let's, let's give him a little wiggle room for a couple of weeks, right? Let's do that. Because as we know, these are Putin's prices at the pumps, right? Uh, Putin has done all of this. Evil, evil Putin has uh, been been uh, raising prices on everything in America for the past two years, you know. And he and he just really, really started kicking it off uh, over the past few weeks. You know, he just said enough is enough. But it's been all Putin. You know, that's what they would have us believe. It's been this evil, evil Putin, and we've talked about that. You know, um, but. Things have already been going up. Cost, costs of everything has been going up like crazy. We've talked about it for a while. But now with gas prices, you know, just about doubling in a very short amount of time, imagine the increases we're going to see now, right? And on about everything. And it's going to cost us more to go to the store to get it. It's going to cost us more in gas to drive to the store to buy things that cost a lot more to deliver to that store. And in the end, who is getting hurt more than anybody? You and I, you and I, right? Because the trucker, the trucker, he, he can't eat that cost, right? He's not eating that cost, he can't eat that cost. So that cost has to be passed on. So then some people think, well, the trucker's unaffected then, but no, the, the trucker still lives in the world that we live in, he is part of you and me right? He, sure, he's not going to eat the cost of the delivery, just like I wouldn't, you know, um, but he still has to pay the same amount. He's going to pay the same, he's buying the same milk at the store, right? There's no special trucker store, like, well, you deliver the goods, so uh, you shouldn't pay that full price. No, he's buying the same gallon of milk from the same store. He's not taking it off the back of his truck to save a couple of bucks. I'm sure it happens from time to time, you know, but, um, in general, no. So it all evens out and we are paying the price, right? Not them, not them up there, not the ones that are blaming somebody else or blaming other nations for the issues that they've created here. Uh, but us, we are paying the price as their wealth continues to grow. Isn't that something, huh? Think about that. Their wealth continues to grow, the elite, right? Their wealth continues to grow as the people the struggle deepens, right? Everything costs more and more and more and more, but unlike them, 
we're not making more and more and more and more but that was something to think about with those trucks i found that pretty interesting you know and like i said we had talked about it before and it, there's things we thought about it before but it was it just kind of bam put it in perspective right there you know he's at the pump and it didn't even click right away until he was talking and i said oh crap yeah look at that look at that that cost he can't eat that cost these are all things to think about but isn't that ridiculous that now you know we're literally like oh 395 399 gas awesome i know not everybody's seen that yet um or maybe not even yet but just not seeing it um but that's ridiculous and we joked about that you know when it started shooting up to 450 a gallon that they're going to get it to a point where people they want people to feel grateful when it dips below four dollars a gallon ridiculous you know and uh it didn't have to be like this and it wasn't going to be like this but uh some people sure decided it was going to be like that and it really with everything that's gone on in the, in the past couple of years just one thing after another it really makes you wonder what the uh, motive is and what the uh what their genuine plan for the country is or maybe the world right and it doesn't seem like good things it sure doesn't seem like good things it seems like uh destruction is what i mean i don't see any that that's just what we see right that's just what we see with our own eyes not things we're told um and you know still still to this to this day i've still not been to the gas pump and seen anybody saying you know what i just don't mind paying this because it means we're sticking it to putin where it's got nothing to do with putin nothing to do with putin you know um and all the things we've talked about in the past few days in the past few videos really makes you you know worry and think about other things we've done in other countries right conflicts that we've had and the things that those other countries said about America and why they hate America and um, of course in America our media and our government says it's all you know it's all nonsense it's just those are all lies it's funny funny according to United States they're the only ones that don't lie right but reality and things that we see with our own eyes seems to line up with the lies being told by other people all the time the only thing that doesn't match is what we're told right so then it kind of makes you worry about this country right because uh if we were to become a target because of what we are doing and it's not our fault because the people within the country are good generally you know a, a lot of us are anyway um but we're being spoken for and we're being we're doing things in other countries to other people speaking for us as a whole right so ultimately if someone were to retaliate or you know whatever uh bring some conflict here to us who again who would pay the price it's us right so that it kind of go, goes full circle because who are the ones that could really make any kind of difference? Us, but we don't, we just sit here. Anyway, I'm not gonna go down that path and I'm trying to keep today's video short. I wasn't gonna do a video today, but I figured I'd just throw something out there real quick just to say hello. And I came up with another peeve yesterday. I was reminded of another peeve and let me know if you share it and let me know what you think of it, right? And hear me out because I, it has to do with customer service. We go into a shoe store yesterday. Me and my wife and uh, the kids go into a shoe store. And it's a very small shoe store. And there's several people in there. I didn't realize it at the time, but every one of them were employees. Right? Which is weird. I don't know why so many people would be working at the same time in such a tiny place. Especially when there's no customers in there. So the second we walk through the door... Hello, how are you? Are you looking for anything special or just browsing? Just browsing, right? So for me, I'm not gonna give any indication of anything I might be looking for or anything because I don't want somebody up my butt and that's what they'll do. So I always say, just look it. If I need help, I know how to find it, right? I'm, I'm a big boy. So that's how I like to do it. I don't want to be annoyed and bothered. You know, sometimes people just mean, well, I'm just trying to help, but that's just me. You know, so I just say, nope, just, you know, just looking. Right, so this one takes it further. Okay, just looking for you or for the kids. Just looking, just looking. 
okay, well, just let me know if you need anything. I'm, I'll be right over here. My name is, I don't know what they name was. <laughs> um, but um, anyway, so I started to walk. We started to walk toward the, sh not 10 seconds pass. Somebody else comes up. Hey, you, you looking for anything special? You need, want to try anything? No, we're just, just looking. Okay, just let me know if you want to try anything on. Okay. Still trying to make it to the shoe wall, right? A couple more steps. Another one. Hey, looking for anything special or just browsing? Yeah, no, we're just looking. Okay, are you looking for, for kids or for you or for her? We are just looking. We are just looking. It, are we not free to come into a store and just look anymore? And if we want to buy something, we can buy something, right? And if we need help with something, we'll ask we need help for something. I didn't say all that, but that's what I'm thinking because this is three. And I'm not exaggerating with the time. Not 30 seconds had passed from the time we walked in the door, right? In the next probably 20 seconds, number four comes and does the same thing. I'm getting really irritated now at this point. And then I start, I reach the wall, number five walks up and she's, she's like, hey, she starts, I'm like, no, I'm just, I'm just looking. I'm just trying to look or something. I don't know how I said it. I, I was real trying real hard not to be a jerk, you know, not sound like a jerk, but I'm real irritated at this point. I'm like, I'm just trying to look. And she's like, okay, sorry. And so she could tell I was annoyed and I'm like, it's okay. I was like, it's, I've just been, you know, bombarded by... 20 people literally in the past 10 seconds and I'm just trying to look and I'll find somebody if I need somebody and she's like oh okay it's just that you're the only customers in here what is it so is that protocol then hey if if you're in this uh 10 square foot store and there's 15 employees working and there's one customer in the store um you are to take turns repeating the same thing don't let them look just stay in their face and i also don't like when they like stay on you like you know you're trying to look at this shoe oh that's a great shoe we have that in this style too God, stop it i just want to look i just want to look i just want to look right and at that point by that fifth one i was ready to turn around and be like get get out of here let's just go let's please just leave. i can't do this i i can't i can't do this i don't like you know, so the way it should be, and I think a lot of people would agree, um, maybe some people don't mind that. Maybe there's some people that appreciate an employee being up their butt constantly and not allowing them to look on their own. Just saying, can I help you find anything? Can I help you find anything? You wanna try that on? You wanna try that on? This is a woman's shoe. I was just looking at the glitter on it. And it's just, does it look like I wanna try this on? Well, you never know in today's time, sir. You do know. But anyway, you know, so the way it should be, hey, anything special you're looking for? You're just looking. No, I'm just looking. All right, well, I'll be over here. If you need anything, let me know. Great, got it. Fine, right? Then maybe if some time passes, let some time pass, right? Allow the customer to look. Let them look. And then you can walk by. You still good? Still good. Great. Awesome. Still over here if you need me. Got it. You know, and that's it. Don't stay up my butt. Please don't stay up my butt. I don't want things in my butt, okay. I did not come here for you to check the rectum, okay. I don't want you in the rectum. Maybe, you know, maybe, again, everybody has different peeves, right? And that's definitely one of them. What we've been bringing up peeves. I have some big ones and we talked about one the other day and uh, I forgot about that one, the customer service one. Oh, that irks me, that irks me. And then, and then literally staying with you, you know? Oh yeah, that's a great shoe. You wanna try that one on? What size do you want that? I can see if we have that one in, you know, stop it. You know, if I, come on, do, do people really just, do they try on everything that they touch, everything that they look at, see your eye, the, the employee sees your eye go over here and you're like, you want that one? No. You want that one? No. You want that one? Yes, I want that one. All right, maybe I should just, yes, yes, please that one too. The size, you know, every, all the sizes you got. See what, just tell me, make a list of all the sizes you have in all of these shoes on the back. Maybe they got rid of them for a few minutes. But I don't like it. I don't like, stay with me. I don't like it. Ask me one time, we're fine. But yeah, to be like, oh, sorry, well, you're the only employee, you're the only customers in the store. Come on. Well, it's so small. You, There's no way you didn't see or hear every other employee in here come do the same thing. 
So you just join in, you feel left out? I don't know, maybe it's just me. Tell me if it's just me, but I don't think it's just me. I don't think I'm alone. But anyway, I appreciate you. Watch out for the, you know, these prices. We'll see what's gonna happen. And then they're they're saying, you know, there, there's gonna be a summer surge anyway. You know, uh, they they were already predicting a, a new surge in in gas, and that's uh, that's without Putin doing what he's doing already, right? Yeah, Putin. Yeah, when Putin looks, oh, where is that? I wish I could. Yeah, here's here's Putin right there, right? He did that. Putin did that. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, but. That's what they want us to believe. Anyway, thanks for being here. Let me know what you think. I appreciate you, as I always do. Twisted Luck Truth. I'll see you soon.